Hey guys, Soberly here today and welcome back to Cities Skyline. So at the beginning of this episode, I'm actually just rebuilding this little uh, tram hub kind of thing. No, it's not even a tram hub, it's one tram line and we've got like three bus lines running through the area. And I think I was mentioning it last episode that I was like, I really want to go through here and make this a proper little space that's going to be way, way better than what it was. And that's exactly what we're doing here. So I was trying to figure out a good way to, because we have that road here with the trams on it as well, but I exclusively just wanted it for trams. So I actually got rid of that road bridge and I built a different one in just a little bit of time. But if you do want to skip this uh, time lapse, you can just go to five minutes, five minutes, two seconds is where we get back to the gameplay. Uh, so you can skip forward there. And I also show it off a little bit then. All right, so I built this road over here now instead uh, that actually bridges across for cars. So cars go that way and then trams go the other way. And what I did realize is because once I did this, I, I at the moment well at the moment like all the traffic going up to the I guess the hilltop area was uh, coming across this bridge because that was the only way to get up there. They'd come off the highway, drive through this area, and go up that mountain road that we built. Uh, so I realized that, it, and I, I think I did this last last episode as well. We almost built a second a second route to get up there, uh, but I actually do that again properly this time around. And this is me trying to connect a cable car. Uh, for the first time in this episode, because in the real-time footage, I actually uh, struggle doing another one, but I, I, I cut most of it out. So <laughs> you don't have to sit through it, which is good. But it's uh, when you're trying to do these sort of custom cable car things that are, have interesting angles, it, it gets a little bit more difficult. But anyway, uh, so just readjusting these bus lines, I really wanted to create almost like a little shared... I, I, ideally, I wouldn't have want any cars or anything running through this area, but I kind of needed it for the road access. Uh, I mean, surely there's, there's probably a better way to do this later on but for now I just sort of went with this uh this layout so we have two roads on either side and then the sort of tram running through the middle is kind of how I worked it worked it out in the end um oh god here we are just trying to do this stupid cable car again my lord like honestly they are they get really annoying if you're not just going in a straight line <laughs> like it, it, I mean it's a straight line but because the start and end points have a bit of an angle to them it doesn't particularly work and then that was saying it wasn't on the road so i had to redo it so it actually have connections uh but yeah in the end this actually works out really really well at the moment you can see there's a huge amount of cars using that road bridge and that's why i decided it's probably a good idea to get that secondary mountain road in so we can avoid sort of pull traffic away from that area so that I, they don't have to run through there uh exclusively to get up the top because i mean the more connections the better and i think as time goes on as well we'll be adding more ways to get up that mountain anyway because there's a lot of obvious connections that we could add in uh, so this is me just adding that second route in now. Uh, and it's just, just making it nice and smooth so it can actually, you know, look somewhat realistic. And it just joins onto that little curve of the road there. And actually some people do use that road to sort of not go all the way up the mountain, but they use it to sort of get like bypass a little bit of this pedestrian area too, which is good because it means we pull more traffic away from the area and all that. And now I'm just building some little custom park areas here. Like I just wanted to, uh, almost like a little town square. Uh, although... What you might notice right now is people are using those diagonal pathways to walk around to the tram stop, which really annoys me. It's like if you walked in a straight line, it would be quicker and you wouldn't have to do that and look stupid. But, you know, whatever works. Uh, <laughs> I, I think in the end, I don't know if they do that in the end because I do change a few things up, but... It's, it was annoying me so much. I'm like, why are you doing that? Stop doing that. Uh, anyway, so putting a bunch of trees in this area, really making trying trying to make it look like a nice little park. And then I thought I wanted to I almost wanted to do like a little sporting field here, uh, but we couldn't really fit anything too big in. So I actually did like a custom sort of basketball court area, which I mean I could have used just one of the uh, actual basketball court assets or parks in the game but they will f they'd be facing the wrong way and they were actually a little too big and had too much stuff around them so I, you know i just decided to build my own i got a couple of basketball hoops got the little uh the basketball court underneath it and then i even built a little chain link fence around it which you'll see in a minute so it's like you know what it should have a little fence and i did that and then people go there to hang out because it's a, it's a park and <laughs> they don't play basketball there but it's there. I was like, you know what? It's kind of cool. I'm happy with it. Uh, and then I sort of leveled out a bit more land here because I actually wanted to get in some more zoning uh, for this space. Just a few more. Like, I really wanted it to be like a town square with buildings all around it on every single side. So you could sort of go there, hang out, you know, spend a day there, maybe get some food, sit at a cafe, play in the park, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then uh, I just gave the trams priority through the area so that they always get to go through and everyone else has to give way. And I'm just adding a bunch of trees here to sort of screen it from the, the really, really busy highway that's actually running there. That's like one of the main highways to the whole city area. So we wanted to keep it kind of quiet and a nice little fountain to dot the center of that. Isn't that beautiful? 
Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Now people are not walking through the diagonal section like <laughs> they were before. Anyway, I thought I'd get a bunch of benches in there too. But let's jump into the real time now. So this is what it looks like now without all of the uh, sort of time lapse going on here. It's got like a little sort of square in the middle there. We've got buses and trams running through it. I think, I mean, I definitely think the layout is better than it was before. And it seems to make a lot more sense. So I guess what we're going to do now, actually, there was a really good suggestion uh, that I wanted to do from a few episodes ago, was to actually add a cable car to the the zoo out that way. And that actually makes a lot of sense, especially, I think it was from, from Garland Square. Yeah, because if we do it from here, from the train station, so they can catch the train to here, get the cable car across, it actually makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, there's a lot of people here. A lot, wait, a lot, are a lot of people actually using this tram for once? Because that's amazing. Oh no, it said seven people got off at the last stop. Never mind, that was from the trains. No one's using the trams. I mean, a few people do. They, they do get used a little bit here and there. Where are they? Through the middle here somewhere. There's one. How many people are on it? 25. Hooray! 16. Hooray! Well, I guess to be fair, this one was just in front of it. Wait, no, that's a yellow tram. The yellow trams are way more popular. The red trams, 24 people. 25 people. Whoa, watch out. Yeah, I mean, look, they get used. Hey, they get used. They get used enough. I'm happy with that. Right, let's get the uh, get that cable car in, because that was a really good idea. And I wanted to wait until I record it again to uh, actually add it in. So, I guess, wait, is this the... I don't want to stop. Although, what if we could do stops? Because we could then totally do one that runs across like this. Although, no, I don't want to do that. Let's just do the, the, the yeah end of line. So, we want to do one... Oh, that's right. You can't actually build on these roads. I guess we we'll have to do it on this section here somewhere. Just annoying. Uh, yeah, I forgot that. Uh, oh, and I'm definitely not removing those parking lots. It took me so long to do it. So I'm going to put it here. Sorry, that building's going to have to go. So we'll go from here. Although uh, that angle is not going to work. Hmm. Okay. That, yeah, that's not going to. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could do it. I mean, we could add a road in the middle, maybe. Here? No, that's not really going to work. Huh. Okay, this prov this poses a little bit more of an issue than I would have thought. Uh, we could do... I mean, the thing is, you can come out and then go back around. But ideally, I just want to on maybe this section of road here facing that way. Okay, we might be able to do this. Hold up. So if we change this last bit of road to... Uh, okay, it's gone to a bridge. I mean, I guess we could have it as a bridge. Why not? Uh, we changed that last bit of road. Actually, no, no, you know what? You know why not? Because we need it to be on the ground so I can zone on it. Uh, yeah, and uh, there was a bunch of people saying that a few episodes ago that there's no pedestrian access there. Well, I mean, that's why I added the bus line that is in right here. So that runs up and down there. And this bus line is pretty useless. It doesn't do a whole lot at the moment, although it gets people to and from the zoo. So it kind of works. Anyway, let's move this. Uh, oh, move this. Can this go here now, please? Well, I'll do that, and then I'm just going to... No, not do that. I'm going to use move it. Then we're going to put it in here. On this road. Very unevenly, I might add. It needs to be about there for those parking spots to even appear. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's fine. We'll get rid of that tree. Speaking of which, let's turn off prop anarchy. <laughs> I remembered. Almost. There's definitely a tree in there. there we go. Alright, so that'll go there. It's a little uneven, but, you know, we'll, we'll work with what we've got. See, I still, I still want zoning up here, though, so that there's more action up here. Okay, here we go, finally. Jesus, that took so long. All right, so I finally got one span of cable car going all the way across, which is what we're trying to do. And we've got it fairly, I guess, fairly like a direct route to either side. Then we're going to use this area that we now have to get some zoning back up here again, because I definitely wanted those little shops around the place here, because I thought that was quite nice. Might actually reduce that bit a little bit, so it's not so... You know, steep all around there. Get rid of that bit there too, actually. I said get rid of that bit there too. Okay, cool. So we have a few little shops there. The cable car comes in just here. Uh, I think it should work okay. Although, having said that, the cable cars have disappeared. Hmm. Oh, wait, hang on. Here they come again. Where do they go? Here comes one from that side. Are they just not making it to the other side? What's happening? Is it broken? Oh, no. It's going. Oh, wait, is there just not that many? But they're going that close together? So they go in like that, and then... That's weird. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I don't know, they're just really spread out for some reason. Okay, I mean, they're working. Also, the sound effect of that is not a cable car. That sounds like a monorail or something. <laughs> or like a tram. Um, Alright, so anyway, I, th I think it's working. Look, if people start using it, I mean, it says four people used it last week. So, that's good. 
Anyway, so now we have a train station, we have trams, we have buses, we have the cable car here to get over this way as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, so you can get the cable car there, then you can get the bus over this side. I think I actually want to move where the bus stop is. And just put it on this side instead. Just because it always annoyed me that the bus had to get, like, it comes up here and they're like, Oh, there's the zoo! And then it drives really slowly around the car park and then stops. So it's like, I, I think we'll just stop before. I mean, we've got a perfectly good crossing right there. So it can stop there, then go around. Also, I feel like the uh, bus stop should be able to go forward. The bus lane should be able to go forward as well. Just going to adjust some of these a little bit. And then, oh my god. And then this is also a left turn. Just, I don't know, it just wasn't allowed to go forward for some reason. Just cause I, I want buses there as well. I, okay, I really feel like we don't need traffic lights up here. Like, there's no traffic. It's, I think it will be okay. Alright, so that will go there. Uh, is that a tree inside the zoo? Or is that, like, part of the zoo? That might be part of the zoo. I think we're okay. So there's definitely people using the cable car, which is actually really, really good news. So we've got, uh, you know, two out of 30 people on that one. Fantastic. So, yep, yeah, there's, de I mean, definitely people going in there. So I think the zoo should be quite the attraction. All right, so uh, we will go... Maybe we should zone up here a little bit. Just get a few more buildings up through here. Let's just get out... Wait, no, I used not normal roads. I used these roads. I don't know why I zoomed in so much there. Uh, so this... Oh, I must have done some surface painting around here because <laughs> it's all blank. All right, so if we have a look at this, we can definitely fit roads, like, up through here. I don't know why it's at minus two, mind you. Not sure. And now minus seven. There you go. Now it's not. Anyway, that will go all the way down there because we can zone all of that, which is really cool. Then this can come here and along. Can't zone that side, but we can zone the inner bit, which is good. And then maybe just like that as well. And then, can this actually join through to the other side? To here. No, I think it's too steep. Space already occupied, slope too steep. I don't know what space is occupied there, but... Oh, okay. Also, that is not good. <laughs> that little drop there. Let's uh, make that a little smoother. That'll go there. Okay, and then... Let's have a look. Can I get... Some more. I don't know why these roads are so sunken into the ground. It's kind of annoying. Can we get a road down here, do you reckon? I mean, we could we could get a road down there. Whether we get zoning or not is another question, though. Uh, let's see. What if I go, like, right along here? No, you get, like, no zoning. You get a road if we want it, but I don't know that we really particularly need a road there. What's a lot of zoning there maybe we should use? Probably should. Is this all the same district? Yeah, it is. Okay. Why don't we get some more commercial here? I'm not really sure why I didn't put any here. I assume I had reasons, but now I no longer share those same reasons with past me, so I'm going to put it in there. Also on this side a little bit. Kind of bad that it goes into the water, uh, so, oh my god, look how popular that is. But we'll get uh, get smaller ones here, because it looks like they could actually zone there. And then some slightly larger, slightly larger. Maybe one over there, and then I might keep the rest of that blank. Okay, can this be upgraded again yet? Oh, it can be. Hooray! Alright, so, popularity 95, look at that. Okay, so we're spending a crap ton of money on this thing, but look at this now. It's beautiful. Actually, no, no, no. I'll go into the first-person camera mod, because then we can really get down and personal. Okay, that's a pretty cool, like, festival ground, actually. Like, the view of that is pretty sweet. You get to see the whole city right there. Oh, look at that. You can see those buildings up over there, too. It's a pretty good location. Got car park up there. It's pretty nice. As far as, like, hey, I'm at a music festival, there's the city goes. It's pretty good. Because uh, there's always that conversation. Oh, no water over there, actually. Let's get that in. Hey, guys. Just getting some water in. A lot of people dying around here, actually. Where is our closest crematorium? Uh, is that, like, near... Is that on this island? Oh, yeah, it's over there. Eh, it's close enough. That, they'll, look, they'll get there. All right, so we're zoning this area up here. I think I want to add in some little pathways as well before we start building it all. Because uh, I definitely think we could have... We have... Oh, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> it's a little steep. I was like, I definitely think we could do that. Mm, maybe not. All right. Let's go, like, raise it up and then straight slope it too. Because then it sort of cuts through the terrain and creates a nice pathway. Beautiful. Then we'll also get a little crossing in there. Nope. Sorry. Set a little crossing in there. Nope. Oh, I think I just removed it. Uh, and that does sort of level out the road there, which I don't... No, that I'm a big fan of, but it'll work. It'll go there. So that just allows quick access for... Because I think there's a bus stop just there. Oh, no, it's a little further up. There's a bus stop nearby, though. Maybe it should be further back. Let's move it back. Oh, okay, I've just created a new bus stop. Let's move it back to about here, actually. So that'll go there, because then that can stop there, and you can just walk across the road either way, which will be super useful. 
Uh, so this is all like high density, right? And then we're just sort of going from there. So I might get some more of these just through this area. Like so. And then maybe we'll even get some... Not high density. I'll get a low density commercial here. Along this section. That's high density. All of it. Like how? It's like, let's get low density. Immediately builds high density. Low density here. Along this sort of main issue. Just like that little span. Then I want to get this all to be residential in the middle. Like so. Beautiful. Uh, now, what else do we have... Uh, in this area. Oh, what else do we need in this area? I should probably say. Uh, that's good. Hospital's fine because we got the huge one right there. Fire department. That's not too bad. It's also not too good. We have a tiny one down there. We should probably get a bigger one. Maybe we can get one down this way. Come on along the water. The thing is, I, so I think what I want to do is, I was like, what is that? It's just the shadow of the cliff because the sun is like here, clearly. I think what I want to do, oh, look at this. There's a lot of people waiting for the bus now. Is this actually being used a bit more now? Not really. There's three people on it. <laughs> Not really. I like how it also crashes through the pier. Uh, I think maybe we turn this bit into like a commercial section, then the rest of this. After that road there, this will become like nice housing. Which I still haven't gotten nice housing for it. But anyway, that's what I think I want to do. So, like we'll go like commercial here, here, and here. Just says there's a few things around the place. Maybe even like an office just there on the waterfront. I feel like we could definitely get something else in here too. You know? There could definitely be something else right there. Uh, and then, I will get that fire department in around here too, actually, I think. Do I want a huge fire department? We could get a nice, like, waterfront one. Cannot build on water. Now I can. I mean, it just raises up the land anyway. What an ugly fire department. Really, really is. It's really atrocious. But anyway, it's gonna go there. Uh, at least for now. And then, so police... There's not really any uh, coverage out here. Oh, wow, this guy's not good. What's going on with this one? Why is the crime rate so high at this? All right, let's get some police out here. Can we get like a decent looking one? Japanese police station. I think that just looks like an old building, so we could probably use that. How about we just get it next door to that guy? That's not a very good place. Uh, we could get it over here. I didn't really want to build on that road though. Or that one. Maybe... Maybe I'll put it just on this corner here. How about we, how about we go in there? What does that actually look like? Oh, it looks alright. It just looks like a standard building. And then we get... Uh, uh, police cars 25. Although, I don't know what's going on with this because it never seems to work. I guess maybe because I've got so much availability that we've got the coverage here, but I don't think they ever send cars from here. And I think it's almost the same with this as well. Zero in use. But I think this is used a lot. I don't know. One in use. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Well, it's there and it's got coverage now and it should make them happy. So there you go. Alright, there should also hopefully be more people using these roads now. I think I might actually change this into a bus line road. Because I think that's probably going to be a better idea. That's supposed to be stuck on the ground. Might mess up some of my zoning here though, but whatever. So I think the bus line actually runs all the way down to that main road there. And then goes out that way, yeah. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing here. And then the buses don't actually use that section of the road. And then I'm actually going to upgrade all of this. Even though I don't think anyone's going to be using this road. Like there's really not that many people on it. But it's going to be there. And then I'm going to up the speed limit on it too. Because I think it's, yeah, it's gone down to 40. We're at least up to 60. Oh, wow. Look how many people are using that cable car now. Probably making my bus completely useless. <laughs> Alright, so 60 there. And then I think I also want this to be 60. And then, I think I, I do want this road to be a bit faster. Why not? Let's go 60 all the way through. Because this will be like a main road. I mean, I mean, realistically, it probably should be like 50. Um, but we'll go 60. Why not? And then this one's also 60 on the outside there too. Okay, cool. So that's there. So it's more of a main route now. The buses should hopefully use those lanes. I like how they just disappear here. It's like, ah, oh, we don't need, we don't need lines there. That's fine. Ah, it's fine. Ah, don't worry about it. Uh, oh yeah, downloaded all these uh, signs, which we're not going to use right here. Um, I mean, I guess we could. Uh, ab. I've written ab now. But yeah, the idea was because a lot of you guys wanted to see a big sign on the uh, on the mountain where we were building. Uh, over here, but I realized that those ones require a roadside, which I guess we could just build like a little road somewhere, but I don't know what we'd call it or put a sign up there. I mean, we could just put like Sedona up there. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely having a death wave in the city at the moment, actually. Because look how many people are dead there. Is it just there? Can I can I get an overlay of how many people are dying right now? Or is that... Uh, what would that be under? Fire, safety... It's just like medicine. Maybe this one, health. Death care. Uh, this doesn't really tell me where people are dead, though, does it? We've got a thousand people dead, but we do have the capacity for it, but I think it's just 
a matter of time for the vehicles to get around the place. Ah, it, look, it'll be fine. Uh, it'll be fine. How's this going down here? Is it doing good? Yeah, doing good. Uh, we could probably up that ticket price there too. This person is so unpopular, by the way. Nestor. Can we, like, can we fire them? Because they suck. Anyway. Uh, alright. So, over this way. Wait, what did I want to do? I don't know. Uh, oh, actually, I do know what I want to do. I wanted to put that crossing back in because we removed it when we put that road in. There we go. A little crossing there, which would be good. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to do something here. I, oh, that's what I was going to do. I was actually going to get one of the parks things. Uh, maybe some... Maybe just like a little... Little that. That's nice. Got like a little... A few little things around here, you know? Like that little park stuff. Maybe some little benches. I don't know which way this is facing. Possibly that way. Oh, it is. Good. Alright, so that should also just cause a few more people to walk to this area and just hang out. Should be nice. That, and then we'll just get some trees in there. And it'll be beautiful. And people will come here to hang out this park. And it'll be lovely. And, and I'll be the best mayor ever. The best mayor ever. Because that's how you have to say it. Uh, okay, let's go down to single, please. Yeah, it's also turn on prop anarchy on this one because this will be useful. Uh, we'll get maybe a couple big trees there. We'll get some of them around this way too. And then we have a lot of those sort of trees. Which, I mean, maybe if I just go move it and then select a bunch of them. Uh, hang on. Maybe like this. Like that and like move some over here. I'm going to cover up some more of the area, you know? Just a few more trees here and there. There you go. There you go. Almost just want some more on this little cliff face because it's so ugly. I think I need to actually change that up a little bit because it's just not copying in the place I want it. <laughs> Alright, so let me select again. Maybe like this little bunch. No, I just really need like this. Go right there. Ah, oh, damn. You know what? I just need to do it myself. <laughs> I just, you know, I just got to do it the old-fashioned way. Get out a tree and put it in there. I need like the larger one there. There you go. Just goes right in that gap. That's so beautiful. Look at that. Uh, and then I think I, I want more trees down here. Not just not big ones. Like maybe a couple of these guys. There you go. Nice little shady park. Oh, that's nice. There's a couple of people sitting on the bench there. There's little tables around. I would definitely would not mind some commercial here on the water. That'd be super nice. Uh, so let's get out some here and here and here. Hopefully they actually build something nice and not ugly. Should we, do, we could do a little one there. And then nothing there. And something there. And then we get this little nice little commercial square. Like with a few little shops around. I've got one office down here too. These places are upgrading. And then we can have some zoning up here. Uh, I wonder if we can... We could probably fit something along here. I'm going to imagine. A very small zoning. Or maybe if we go... A little further back. Get a double zoning on each of these. We could do that. I'm not I'm not upset by that. Maybe do this. And then select the road. So go around like that or something. This end bit of the road is kind of weird, but I don't mind it. It's going to be in the right spot. Maybe about there. It has to be a little higher. Alright, so then it comes around here and then maybe... I guess has to go... Back here. It's a very weird road though, isn't it? Yeah, it's alright. I mean, it does provide zoning on both sides, so it totally works for what I want it to be. Alright, uh, they'll go there and there. Some zoning around the place. Like so. See what we get with that. Should be interesting, at least, hopefully. Uh, and then... Do I want... I guess I want zoning on this side. I don't know what kind of... We're probably going to get really ugly buildings there, though. Because it's very small. Why don't we try and... We can try and level it out a little bit. Uh, just to sort of extend that slightly. Let's get a bit... Oh, no. I had prop anarchy on. Damn it. I go between phases of it being on and being fine. And then I forget about it. But if I upgrade this to the road with parking... should update most of this area. Then they can also park on the road anyway. I guess there's no reason not to. Oh, look how much zoning they have there now. Sweet. I don't want that much though. We'll only go too deep on it. That. Nice. Alright, so they'll zone there. And then maybe we'll just smooth it out afterwards. Alright, so that will allow them to build all the way down to that bit. Which is pretty cool. Uh, I wonder if we can get like a pathway. 
Because it's super, it, like, it's very high up. But it's possible we could do a pathway at least maybe here or something. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Let's try that. Pathway! Uh, I'm just going to do a straight road, or straight pathways. So we're going to go from the end of this. It's going to be at ground level. It's going to go to here, and then come back again. And then, I'm going to adjust it because it's obviously in a very weird position. Uh, same with this bit. There a little bit, go up a little higher. So it goes there, they come down to that corner. Then it turns around. Comes back down, okay. Can I move that tree a little bit? And that one. And then also get some more trees in there, just to cover it up a little bit more, just so it looks a little bit less bad. So we can cover up this little cliff there. It'll probably look pretty decent. Especially because look how blurry that texture is actually. Why is that texture so blurry? I guess because it is just actually stretched a lot. Anyway, let's get some trees on it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go, it's lush and green. And now people will walk down there to get to the public transport down the bottom. Alright, there you go. So that actually provides a really nice connection, I think. And now they can just... So if you can get from this section down there without having to go... I guess you could get the bus. It wasn't that much further, but... Now you get nice pedestrian access too. And I guess they can also walk to the zoo if they really want to. Yeah, they can. There's actually people walking up to the cable car. Which I don't know how I feel about that because we do, have, we do have a bus for exactly that. But uh, people don't particularly want to use it, I guess. Oh, although I guess it doesn't actually stop at the cable car, does it? Maybe we should move the stop like further... Oh, no. Stop. Why does it always make a new one? Maybe we should put it... If we put it like... Around the... We could even put it down here. Or... I mean, it should really be by the zoo though. Um, but it makes more sense if we do it there because then it's closer to the cable car and it doesn't have to go all the way around there to turn around and go there and come back. And it's not far from the zoo. All right, let me change this road. So this road then is going to just go, going to go back to being a regular road. There. And a road there. And then the bus goes around this way. And then we'll have a bus lane road here because why not? And then I guess that will just stay the way it is. Although we could upgrade that. There's actually room to do it. So you know what? Let's just upgrade it anyway. There you go. Nice big road all the way around. Okay. So the bus goes there. I might actually move it a little bit further down. Let's put it in the middle. Just because it was a bit weird on that little spot there. They get more room. There you go. So we'll go there for the bus stop. Now it's closer to the cable car. So hopefully we have less people walking up and more people just using the bus. Currently two people. So no, that, I don't know if that made a huge difference. But anyway, it stops here. Picks up 48 people, which is good. And then it will continue on this. So now we'll go down here, turn around, and go back again. Not exactly a lot of room for doing a U-turn there. I wonder if I can build like a little... We might be able to build like a little U-turn here. Because I think that will be a little neater. Uh, which I would definitely prefer if we could. So, turn off snapping. And then we'll come back around like this. Okay, so now we've obviously got to neaten this up. Because that's ridiculous at the moment. So, I don't want to extend the land more than it already is so we're gonna have to come in further some more around this way it's obviously way too big at the moment so let's make that a bit smaller like it doesn't need to be that huge something like that really and then we're just gonna make it like level because at the moment is ridiculous as you can quite plainly tell so let's bring that down to there comes around that looks pretty good to me move some of these trees a little bit i do like the one in the middle but it's gonna adjust it a bit all right so now what we do We'll just get this guy. Perfect. So these will all, I guess, merge. I mean, we could have kept two lanes at the end there. Oh, okay. That's a little dodgy at the end. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that turn where it just cut half the lanes, but... Well, anyway. I think it's... Oh, no. There's no power out here. What happened? Ah, the, uh, the freaking, um... I swear, this, this... It's probably the, the dam again. It's so inconsistent. What is it on? 2400 megawatts. Oh, no. It's, maybe it's not. Maybe it's... Wait, what? Then why are we only producing... 2000. It must be the dam. I think it, it's probably just updated again. Hang on. Let me have a look. Because we are producing enough though. So it's 2400. Power up 2400. So <laughs> that's already enough than the city needs. It's already more than we need. Didn't we build a solar updraft tower somewhere? Did I? Did I do it out by the. Where did I do it? Oh my god. There's, yeah, there's death wave all over the city right now. People are dying everywhere. I don't know why. I don't know why all of a sudden that's happened. I mean, I guess that just happens in this game, but still, like, it really just snuck up. It's like we have plenty of capacity for it. If we have a look, yeah, loads. But there's just so many dead people. 
Anyway, um, I think it's just depending on when I built the towns, I guess. Uh, right, what was I looking for? The other power source, which I believe I built, didn't I? Or maybe I didn't build another one. I thought I did. Power. Maybe I'd know. Maybe I just turned that up. Although, actually, hang on. We're only con pr uh, consuming 1,400 now. And only producing 2,000, which still is inaccurate. Wait, what What consumed a lot of power? Is Does this consume more power or something when it's on? I don't know. Also, we've got a lot of dead people around here. And this place doesn't have enough goods. So I don't know what's going on with that. That's, uh, that's cropped up again. A lot of dead people out here. Uh, let's get a... Another crematorium. Eh, let's just get another one. Maybe we can sneak one in. Where could we get one? Maybe over here. Actually, aren't there schools just there? No, schools are over there. That's fine. We'll do it, we'll do it here. Because that's the police department there, is it? Yeah, then high school, elementary school are there. That's fine. Uh, you know, it's around the corner. There you go. One in use. Good. Good job, game. Uh, and then this area... Hopefully it's come to life a little bit more. Not a lot of people visiting these parks, but they exist. Buses. Oh, there's, there's a few people waiting for a bus. There's 47 people on it. And that's the one That's the one heading into town, not to the zoo. All right, well, it's working. Anyway, I'm going to leave this part here, so make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. But uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And have an awesome day.